Hi friends, in this video I am going to discuss electronic devices and circuits, bipolar transistors, bipolar transistors and their circuits. Bipolar junction transistor that is nothing but BJT. BJT. Trans this BJT has three terminal two junction device. Three terminal two junction device. Okay. The three terminals are emitter, base, and collector. Emitter, base, and collector. It, is, it has three layers. It has three layers. P, N, P, or N, P, N. It has three layers. Okay. The word transistor is nothing but transistor means the word transistor means transfer of resistance. Transfer of resistance okay the word bipolar means that specifies bipolar specifies that the current in the transistor is due to both majority and minority carriers both majority and minority carriers okay and this uh, bjt is called current controlled device it is called current controlled device if it is a voltage control device by bz is a current controlled device okay there are two types of transistors namely pnp transistors and npn transistors pnp and npn transistors okay in this uh, pnp transistor it is formed by sandwich of sandwich of n type between two p types between sandwich of n type between two p types here it is the schematic uh, symbol of pnp transistor pnp transistor and coming to the npn transistor it is formed by sandwich of p type between two n type between two n type materials okay this is the schematic diagram of npn here at uh, the direction this direction shows the this direction shows the uh, emitter current shows the direction of emitter current and it is also the this uh, indication gives this indication gives flow of holes flow of holes okay and coming to the terminals emitter base and collector emitter coming to the emitter this emitter is highly doped very very important in the three terminals emitter is highly doped emitter is high, uh, highly doped okay and the main function of this emitter is uh, to pump majority carriers into the base region okay the main function is to emit to emit or pump majority carrier majority charge carriers into base region and the direction of arrow head represents the direction of emitter current this arrow indicates that uh, the flow of holes the, the flow of holes very very important the arrow indicates flow of holes okay and the next terminal is nothing but base next terminal is nothing but base it is the center layer base is the center layer and it is uh, lightly doped and base is lightly doped and its function is to transfer the majority carriers from emitter to current it transfers the majority carriers from emitter to current it is very thin layer it is very thin layer compared to emitter and collector emitter and collector and coming to the collector it is one of it is one of the outer layer it is one of the outer layer it is moderately doping that means doping is moderated moderately doping and its main function is it collects the charge carriers from emitter and base collects the charge carriers from emitter and base and collector has a larger area the area of the collector is larger than all uh, larger than base and emitter uh, for uh, it is uh, it has larger area for large amount of heat liberation large amount of heat liberation here the summarization is base coming to the base it is lightly doped and the size is small 
in case of collector collector is uh, moderately doped and the size is large and in case of emitter it is heavily doped and the size is moderate and my size is moderate so heavily doped material is nothing but emitter and largest size is nothing but largest size collector largest size is collector okay and coming to the transistor operation depending upon the biasing of the junction there are four modes in which a transistor can operate depending upon biasing of the junction biasing means nothing but giving supply supply nothing but supply giving uh, for proper uh, to get the proper output okay depending upon the biasing of the junction there are four modes in which a transistor can operate that is uh, uh, transistor has two junction that is uh, emitter junction and collector junction em emitter junction is nothing but between uh, emitter and base and collector junction is nothing but collector and base okay it is uh, like uh, base emitter collector it is uh, j junction is between emitter and base and jc junction between collector and base okay when the this uh, j junction and jc junction both are forward bias both are forward bias then transistor operate in saturation operate in saturation region that is on switch that is on switch when j junction is a uh, forward bias and jc junction is reverse bias then it act as a amplifier that is it act in active region when j is forward bias and jc is reverse bias transistor operates in active region when j junction in reverse bias and jc junction in forward bias it is in inverted mode inverted mode that is uh, inverted to active mode that is attenuator it act as a attenuator when both junction are reverse bias that is a uh, the operation is cut off region that is it is act as a off switch to act as a off switch that is transistor can be operated as a switch when operated in saturation and cut off modes and cut off modes switch is on in saturation and switch is off in cut off region transistor can be act as amplifier in which mode active mode in which mode active mode it can act as attenuator in which mode inverted mode the inverted mode means j junction is reverse bias and jc junction is forward bias okay and next one base width modulation or early effect base width modulation or early effect what is this base width modulation that is when reverse voltage up applied across the collector junction increases that means the reverse voltage applied across the collector junction increases then the depletion region will be the depletion region the depletion region width the depletion region width will also increases when the reverse voltage means reverse voltage increases depletion width also increases but this region penetrates more into base penetrates more into base that means more into base means the effective width of the base will be decreases okay that means this depletion region uh, uh, this region penetrate more into base region means the effective width of the base region will be decreases effective base width of the base width will be decreases this is called early effect this is called early effect okay in due to this uh, effects of this early effect is alpha value decreases we know that alpha equal to beta by 1 plus beta alpha value decreases and effective width of the base decreases effective width of, whenever the depletion region penetrates into base means the effective width of the base decreases okay and the effective collector current increases as base width uh, decreases the current will flow easily from emitter to collector so the collector current increases okay 
and coming to the relation between alpha and beta we know that uh, alpha and beta equal alpha equal to beta by 1 plus beta and beta equal to alpha by 1 minus alpha and uh, the relation between uh, alpha beta and gamma is 1 by 1 minus alpha that equal to 1 plus beta that equal to gamma these formulas are very useful in case of uh, simple problems in case of simple problems okay this alpha and beta are current amplification factor current amplification factor okay and coming to the configurations of uh, bjt coming to the configurations of bjt there are mainly three configurations first one common base common emitter common collector okay Ka in what uh, in case of common base base is grounded in case of common emitter emitter is grounded in case of common collector collector is grounded okay in case of common base common base base is grounded and input is given to the eb section and output is uh, taken at the collector output current is taken at the collector here also here the input is given to the uh, emitter to base junction and the emitter to base junction and uh, uh, current uh, output current taken at the collector junction collector uh, terminal okay and coming to the common collector here collector is uh, grounded in this the input is given to the base to collector and output is taken at the emitter okay here output is taken at the collector means the collector current ic equal to minus alpha into ie plus ic naught ic naught is nothing but reverse saturation current here the output is taken at the collector that means ic equal to beta into ib plus 1 plus beta into ic naught here beta is the amplification factor here uh, output is taken to the emitter terminal that is i equal to gamma into ib plus gamma into ic naught gamma into ic naught in this uh, common base uh, the input resistance or input impedance is low and output impedance is high input impedance is low output impedance is high in case of uh, common emitter both are medium both input and output ratios both are medium in case of common collector the input impedance is high and output impedance is low output impedance is low here uh, out input impedance is low and output impedance is high means here the voltage gain is highest voltage gain is highest and current gain is lowest current gain is lowest okay in case of uh, this uh, common emitter common emitter both are medium means current gain and voltage gain both are high so power gain is highest both are high means power equal to v, uh, voltage gain into current gain that is uh, power gain equal to highest okay highest in common emitter in case of common collector the input impedance is high and output impedance is low so the voltage gain is low voltage gain is low so the current gain is highest and current gain is highest okay and one more thing is the summarization of this uh, is uh, common base has highest to voltage gain and common emitter has highest to power gain and common collector has current gain this common collector is also called as emitter follower is also called very very important question common collector is also called as emitter follower and in case of common emitter the leakage current is high the leakage current is high in common emitter common emitter okay and uh, this common base is called as current buffer this common base configuration is called current buffer and the common collector is uh, base is called as voltage buffer voltage buffer okay once again the main important questions are is these three formulas are very very important and uh, common base as highest to voltage gain and common emitter as highest to power gain and common collector or emitter follower as highest current gain current gain and common base is called current buffer common collector is called voltage buffer 
and here some uh, example of uh, problems these problems are very very important has given alpha value and uh, we want to we have to find out the beta value here alpha has given alpha beta equal to alpha by 1 minus alpha when we substitute the alpha value we can get beta value okay we can get beta value okay friends thank you in next video i will discuss remaining topics of electronic devices and circuits okay